I want to show you guys something. It, it's kind of cool, you know. And I was thinking to show you guys this. Um, wait, let me show you. What is this? I'm able to connect the proxy server. Wait, what? Oh my god. Unidentified network. <clears throat> my god, there's no internet. Uh, uh, Up guys, welcome back to my tutorial. So in this video I'm going to teach you guys I'm going to teach you guys some useful shortcut that you guys can use for developing your software, Java software. Alright. So I have set up my simple code so that I can demonstrate the shortcut. Alright. So the first thing that I want to show you is that you can finish the line of code with this shortcut for example I have let's see I'm right here right now my cursor is right here and I was typing something and I want to finish the line of code so instead of moving the cursor with your keyboard like this and tapping this you can instead do it like press ctrl and semicolon as simple as that and it finish the line of code for you and the next one is we're going to skip to the next line for example like this and you want to type something here but the problem is, what if your cursor is right here, and you want to move? Maybe you want you 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 want to go to the next line. Either you press the down down button on your keyboard, or you press Shift Enter, and then you can happily write out your code. Yay! And let's apply our previous shortcut. There you go and after that i was thinking maybe i want to remove this line of code you know it's i don't like this i want i want i want something different so instead of pressing shift and n at home i mean like this and pressing backspace or you can simply press ctrl and e as simple as that that is why they are called shortcut you know and after that let's play around with command so I have this line of code and I want to command it out what I will do is I press ctrl and forward slash this is very helpful for example I'm running this code right now and uh, I don't want I don't want this, but I might want it in the in the future. So what I will do is I comment out this line, and the line is not here, just like what I wanted. But let's say in the future I want this code back. I simply press Control and forward slash again. Okay, and if this workspace looks so so cramped to you, so grumpy or something, maybe you can maximize this text editor. Simply press Shift and Escape. Nice and clean, guys. Okay, and. If you guys are having trouble, for example, you guys can see very clear the code. Maybe it's too small or too big. 
you guys can press alternate and mouse control that is very large but I'm good with this I like this small thing so that I can manage a lot of things and to run the code you guys can either go here and press the run manually or you guys can press F6 nice and fast and finally if you guys want to debug the software simply press control and F5 okay and I think that is all for today thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys learn something new from this video and happy programming see you guys in my next video and see you guys and say bye to the audience also Kanade. Yay, bye